What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm gonna be telling you about this banned color in Among Us that you should never use. So in Among Us I'm sure you are aware that there's only 12 colors but did you know that there was a 13 color in Among Us that was unfortunately removed? This color was causing many problems in the game which resulted in it being banned but whenever you play Among Us you can occasionally see it. Which is this blue and red color with the green visor. This color was added during the airship map update. And due to many of the problems that it caused it was removed. But many players have found ways to get access to it. And I was one of those players. And the first time I used this color, it was, well, very strange. And I'm here to tell you everything that happened. So make sure that you stick until the very end. Because you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you want Among Us to add this color again? If you think they should, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on that way you're one of the first to watch these videos and also by the way i'm getting really close to 2 million subscribers so all help is appreciated but now let's begin with today's story video so while i was playing among us i found myself inside of this strange lobby where i could see eric lork unknown and erisai loris I don't think these players are real based on the colors that they have and the outfits. As I was reading the chat, one of the players changed her name to enter name. And it was a player with the name unknown, but unknown is Cyan. This player then sent a message in the chat and it was just a smiley face. And Erisai Loris sent one as well, around the same time. Enter name then sent a message in the chat that was very similar to Sairi Sorrel. Things are getting very suspicious. Because this player got rid of their name, which is completely banned in Among Us. He then went from this blank name to Eris Loris, and he told me in the chat, you can't stop us. So I told them, you suck Eris Loris, and well, I didn't get a response from him. As some time went by, he changed his name to a box and then back to his regular name. Where is he getting these special characters that aren't allowed in Among Us? His name was now an emoji. Now I'm starting to believe I'm inside some banned lobby based on everything going on. I even asked him in the chat, how do you have an emoji as your name? No response. Okay, ignoring me again. Start the game. And that must have angered him. Cause his name was now a bunch of zeros. And this username even left the dropship. He himself also left the dropship but quickly came back and then got rid of his name. I then told him in the chat, start the game sorry Sorrel or whatever your name is and that must have really angered him because he started the game. I spawned inside of the brig and the task bar was already completed. Even though I haven't completed any task, I could then see Eris Loras medbase scanning in front of me when there isn't a medbase scanner in the airship map. And usually when this happens, I'm in danger, so I'm out of here. Brown then reported a body and told everyone that it was red and orange. And you know, I'm not even surprised. Let's vote for Eris Loras. This completely backfired because only two people listened to me. And one of the crewmates ended up leaving, which means we lost. I then returned back to the lobby and Eris Loras was changing his color. Until eventually he was red. Which isn't a good sight, so I'm gonna go look for another lobby. I then found a lobby by the name of Eric Lork. And when I tried to join it said it was full. So then I went to option 2. Which was a player that was calling himself a pro. Hmm, let's go see. And when I joined the lobby I was back to red. But me and this other player didn't have a username. This was the same thing that happened in the last game. I then saw a player outside of the dropship, and when I checked the chat, he was laughing. And I said, huh? And the player said, I'm a kid. I'm 10. But who are you? This player then started to count down, which isn't a good sign. But then I saw a player by the name of Gare Bear in the chat, and I asked him, why are you counting down? That is until I closed the chat, and everyone in the lobby was not only red, but our name was Gare Bear. I didn't have a name in the very beginning. How does everyone have this name? Nobody has a number right next to them. So how is this even possible? I could then see two players standing on the dropship. 
But then the party leader started the game. And when we all spawned in, everyone was the imposter. And the screen was clear. There was also a sabotage that was called. But I was just confused on how there were so many imposters. I tried to take one out in communications, but it didn't work. So what am I supposed to do? I can't take anyone out. So are we just against each other? Since the sabotage was called, we ended up winning the game. But when I returned back to the lobby, these mysterious players were nowhere to be seen. Where did they go? They just completely vanished. Since there was no point in being here, I left the lobby. But many of the things that aren't allowed in Among Us kept happening over and over. Could this be a sign? I guess we'll see. I then saw a lobby by the name of Join Sairi. I'm gonna join just because I'm curious. And when I joined, everyone was black. And the game instantly started. This time we all spawned inside of the scaled, and all of us weren't the imposter. But then I could see Gare Bear, even though I didn't see him earlier. How did he just appear? And he is using his Forte Green color, which is a color that is banned in Among Us. My name was also Chari1, which I just barely noticed. When I went over to admin, I realized that it was on the other side. But then there was a meeting that was called. And I asked the crewmates what happened to the map. And then Monkey randomly got ejected. I didn't even vote for him, but poor guy. When I went over to the right side of the map, I could see Med be an upper engine. The whole map was flipped. And I have heard that you can get this map if you play on April Fools. And well, it is an April Fools at the moment. As I began to look around the map, I was just amazed. It was just so confusing. Cause I'm used to the old scaled. Since I had hope in us crewmates winning the game, I began to do my task. And it was just so different. Since all the tasks were in the opposite direction. For the next few minutes, it was actually very smooth. I didn't have to deal with any strange player which honestly surprised me because whenever players see my name it just calls for a disaster those people who steal my name would know as I was in the middle of doing my task I stumbled upon a player named Gare Bear is this the same one that I saw in the beginning but why did he change his color that is strange a meeting was then called and there was a player without a name and there was two Anthony's so I typed in the chat wait what and monkey got ejected again but he's not even in the game anymore since I already finished all my task, my mission is to stay alive. So I'm just gonna walk around the entire map to hopefully give the crewmates enough time to finish. That is until I went over to Upper Engine and I saw a player vent and it was me. Oh no, the player is after me now. I need to get away from him. I was now being chased by this strange player. And he could come out at any moment, which he finally did when I made it to electrical. He appeared and took me out. He then sent a smiley face in the chat, and I told him, how are you typing if you're in the game? But then he won under another name. I decided to leave the game, but I was stuck on a black screen. I then spawned inside of the cafeteria, and I'm using a banned color that you aren't allowed to use in Among Us. Even my visor is green. I then called a meeting to see if any of the dummies had my color, but none of them did. So I ended up skipping. I must have gotten this color from that past lobby. It's all making sense now. I then began to look around the map of Scaled to see if anything has happened. I mean, there was more dummies that I'm used to. But then I walked inside a reactor and my screen froze and a crewmate with the same color as me appeared, but his visor was different. It was like a regular crewmate, but why is mine green? As I was thinking the lights turned off, even though I was alone with the dummies. So I made my way over to electrical and when I entered inside, I saw a flash of green light. Is it coming from my visor? And my screen was lagging a bit. So I looked around the electrical room and I didn't see anything. Even after I turned on the lights, I then began to explore the rest of the scale. I wanted to check some of the areas that I haven't looked before. And when I walked inside navigation, a crewmate with the same color as me appeared and the same visor. Is this the same player that I saw in reactor? But how did he turn his visor green like mine? Maybe he's the one 
who caused a flash of light and electrical. As I was walking around the scale, the lights turned off again. So I went over to go fix them. And when I entered inside, I saw a crewmate. I couldn't tell who it was since it was very dark. But I'm assuming it's the same one that I saw last time. He seems harmless. I went back to searching, but the lights turned off again. By this time, as I was making my way over to electrical, my screen became even more distorted. And it was lagging a lot. And when I finally made it to electrical, the crewmate appeared once more and used his visor against me. He began to flash me with the green light until eventually I could no longer see. I guess this is what I get for using this band color. But then all of a sudden, I saw a crewmate right behind him. The mysterious player then attacked him, which caused my game to freeze. If you would like to know what happened next, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I know we can do it. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator reach his goal of 30,000 subscribers, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other manga story videos that are found on my channel.